What's up guys? So today I got an email about a new product that I think is very awesome. I think it's going to really uh, promote collaboration between developers and just anyone who wants to code or even learn to code. It's called Teletype. It's from Adam and if you don't know uh, who Adam is, Adam is built by GitHub and if you don't know what GitHub is, just go look it up. <laughs> Uh, anyways, like I said, I just got this email from them today saying that, you know, it's the beta uh, release of this tool called Teletype that uh, essentially works with Atom and what it will do is it will allow multiple people to be writing in the same document uh, and even the same files, I believe, all at the same time. So I think that's going to be pretty sick. So uh, in this video today, I'm just going to record uh, me uh, downloading this, installing it and using it for the very first time. I've not messed with this ever before. This is the first time I've even seen it. So you're going to see me seeing it for the first time. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys. So this is the tool from um, Adam, uh, which is from GitHub. So this is uh, teletype right here. This is the uh, landing page that they have for it. So if you want the URL, it is teletype.atom.io, and I will make sure I put that in the description down below. So if we scroll down just a little bit here, you can see uh, just, I mean, just taking a look at the website they got right here. Let's see, Teletype Beta for Atom lets developers share their workspace with team members and collaborate on code in real time. I think that's freaking awesome, guys. I mean, it's it's like it's like uh, Google Docs for coders. So that's just sick. I can't wait to see how well it works. Um, I might have to have um, someone else I know download this and install it so we can just you know see how responsive everything is. Uh, right here is a video they have. If you want, you can play that here. Let's see what it is. Well, that was awesome. Look at how these even line up with the little marks that are, were in the video. <laughs> That's pretty clever. I like that. Um, all right, so if you scroll down, you see code better together. I'm not going to read all of this, um, but it says the Teletype package for Atom aspires to make it easy for developers to code together as it is for them to code alone. It introduces the concept of real-time portals, so I'm guessing they are calling them portals so that's fine here you can see uh, the general layout you'll have a host and you can have one or more guests I'm not sure what the limit is on the guests uh, just yet um, let's see here each portal comes to life in two steps first you can connect to our servers uh, well first you connect to our servers to see who is collaborating uh, and after that collaborators share code directly with each other peer to peer that is cool I like that um let's see there's no centralized server to spy on your keystrokes and teletype uses web RTC to encrypt all communication between collaborators what happens in the portal stays in the portal I really like this peer-to-peer uh, -peer thing that I think this this is really really neat to have that way you're not all connected to like, like you just said a server and you know no one's going to be spying on your keystrokes so that's pretty neat so getting started what do we need to do first we need to install atom i already have atom but if you don't you can click on this right here and it will take you to the website to download atom right here so you can download it and you know install that uh, next is install the teletype 
for Adam. Okay, so install the Teletype package to start collaborating today. Um, let's see, Teletype. All right, an Adam package lets developers share their workspaces. We got that. All right, so let's see, install Adam one. Uh, point two two or newer and in the terminal install the package via APM all right well let's see here how to install atom packages because I thought we could install that from within the app yeah there we go so I can just come over here as open up atom Let's see, I don't need this project open. All right, so let's open Atom. And where do I get to my config, is it? No, no, no. Let's see here, preferences. There we go. All right, let's get to packages. And let's just go ahead and search teletype. I spell that right packages package all right install the teletype package does it not exist in here yet oh those are installed packages let's see install here we go teletype I don't install packages that often in Atom or anything like that so I'm not I wasn't exactly sure where all of that was, but let's see if we can find this. Searching teletype, share your workspace. Perfect, and as you can see, this is made by Atom right here. So let's go ahead and install that. All right, sweet, it's installed. Now let's go back and take a look at the web page and what is next. That was fairly simple. I just forgot where to install the packages. Um, all right, share a portal. Click on the, it looks like a radio tower icon in the Atom status bar and flip the switch to start sharing your portal. Okay, Adam. Well, let's, uh, what do I have? I have, we can grab this and open it up just so we can add this to a window and discard state. Open a new window. All right, cool. Um, all right, let's go ahead and click on this icon, like I said. Uh, and we need to sign in, it looks like. Visit Teletype to generate an authentication token. Okay, teletype.atom.com forward slash, or dot io forward slash login sign in to GitHub to continue Teletype for Atom. Sign in. All right, authorize Teletype for Atom. Teletype for Atom by Atom. Okay, cool. That was simple enough. All right, here we've got our token. Sign into Teletype for Atom, blah, blah, blah. Token, copy the token. Let's go back here, paste this in and sign in. Sweet. Now we have signed in so we can use this. Now I believe it just said all we have to do is flip the switch. Yes, that is all we have to do. Share. Invite collaborators to join your portal with this ID. All right. So let me copy this and see if I can join this uh, portal I have set up here on another machine of mine. All right, so I just got it copied over to my other computer. As you can see, I have joined this portal. Look at that. So you can see how many people are in this. That is neat. I still don't see an option for, um, well, not an option. I don't see anything telling me how many people I can have in this at one time. So let's, let's quickly go ahead and see what this is going to look like uh, when someone else is typing and clicking around. Let's go. I'm going to put my cursor right down here. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay. 
So that is pretty neat. I like that a lot. This is here. Look at that. Type in this is this one right here is on my the MacBook that I'm recording with, and this up here is on my other MacBook. So it's not even it's not even the same one. But that is really responsive, man. This is like you even see what I can highlight. Look at that. You can see all of that. That is like. Man, that is real. It's real time. I thought I thought uh Google Docs was fast. This literally like I don't think I've ever experienced that happening that fast. I like it. I may have spoke too soon. It's it's uh, lagging a little bit. I don't know. Well, it is it is still a beta, but still though when it is working, wow, that is working fast. As I type this B B B B B B B B. That's that's insane. And then this is this right here. I'm gonna type on this machine. A A A A A A A A. Super fast, man. That is awesome. All right, what else? Can we do anything down here? No, we cannot. We can join a portal. So joining the portal was pretty simple. Uh, all I had to do was share this code that I created, um, and uh, just click join and paste it in here and then click join again on my other Mac and I was put right into this portal right here so again I think that's pretty awesome so you can click you can link what is what does that do oh that's cool okay so if you click on someone here and you're linked to them here watch right now how I'm not linked to them when this green this green cursor here I'm gonna click around on the screen let's see see me clicking around and nothing's happening I'm seeing the cursor move but if we click on this picture and we link uh, we're linking to that cursor so now when I click around let's see come on there yes yeah, see so it scrolls the page so that it's always in view that's neat I like that as well um, hmm anything else I think that's about it honestly it's a pretty simple thing but I'm liking that 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 was so easy to get set up and let's see shutting it off on my other computer it just has a notification saying the portal closed your host stopped sharing the editor and all of these uh, random things that I put in here and did they're all still there so here let me let me go ahead and I'm gonna do this on my other machines so let's I'm starting it up on my other one clicking copy and then over here we're gonna click on the radio tower again we'll click on all this stuff paste this in and we're just gonna go ahead and click join and let's see will this work Zachary R. Newton has joined your portal there we go that's sick so it show it looks like it shows you on the other end of things it shows you um, what is this this is the I guess the host and it shows you anyone in this so I appear three times because I'm in here on two separate machines but I'm also uh, being shown as the host that's nice um, everything is green on here though which is interesting I'm not sure why it's why it's green no nope, that's not green anymore okay this is green though. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. So this is set up as untitled on my other computer. This is getting a little confusing. If I close this and don't save, Zachary R. Newton is doing something else right now. Sharing will resume once Zachary R. Newton is editing again. What does that mean? All right. Well, now that I got that closed out, let me let me go ahead and just go ahead and leave this one. So again, that was really simple to leave as it should be. The one thing I'm not sure about though is if I can let's undo all of this. Don't save. Okay. I have this whole folder open right here. So let me go ahead and see if when I start this up uh, let's find out if um, it'll share that whole folder. I'm curious. 
join portal, paste this code in, join. Okay, maybe. No. Okay. All right. So that's interesting. It only, it only shares uh, the file that I'm on, and only that file that I am on. So no folders. That's something that I I wish. Um, I think I'd like to see that change. I think it would be neat if I could have like a whole project folder open and uh, we could be able to collaborate on the entire folder all together because I mean this is great and amazing for a single file I love this I love how it works I love how simple it is to start a server oh, well not a server a portal sorry um, to start a portal you literally just flip this switch and share this ID with whoever you want to join and then to join you just click join paste in the code click join again and you're in and that's it like it's it's that simple so that is amazing I think this works so well for the uh, like working on a page together a single file together but I'm kind of disappointed that it only shares the actual file that I have open here um, that's that's insane I, I didn't expect that so uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Do you think we should have, uh, you know, the ability to see the entire hierarchy of all the folders or what? Um, or is there a way to do that? I don't know. If you find a way, however, let me know because that would be, that would just be awesome because I, I know a lot of people, uh, that want to learn some coding, you know, like this, a little, um, just one on one and it would be great if I could share the entire um, folder with them so that they could see everything and see where everything is located um, that would be awesome I don't know why we don't have that and I, I'm rambling right now honestly this uh, this is just an amazing tool so github Adam thank you I love this only comment would be uh, let let me let me be able to share the entire hierarchy of the folders uh, to anyone else that's on this portal that would be very beneficial I think uh, but if there's some reason why we aren't allowed to do that um, you know let me know I'm, I'm curious because that's a that seems like a very big chunk of this uh, package that is missing all right guys it's gonna be it for this video i really hope it helped i think this tool is pretty sick and pretty powerful uh but let me know what you guys think do you think it'd be good for learning and teaching people do you think it'd be better for collaborating on projects and if so what kind of projects do you think it'd be good for collaborating on let me know in the comments down below if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and if you like the content that I'm creating on this channel, head on over to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash Zachary R. Newton, where you can support me and help me create better videos every week. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.